Here's my PCB milling machine inspired by the Ant PCB. I've made um, a fair number of changes to scale it up. Redesigned a bunch of components. All of these components here uh, are all designed from scratch. The component that I did modify from the Ant was this uh, head assembly. I had to modify it to fit LM8, LM8 UU bearings for the eight millimeter smooth rod that I have in here and in here versus the six. I'm also using um, MGN 12H and the electronics inside here. I have a fairly easy way you can remove the front panel. Just pull this out and you can see the electronics inside based on the same board the NPCB uses have the everything internalized power supply there's a uh, vents for cooling a uh, big Noctua fan for cooling around the back here you can see there's a plug-in a place for outputs for probe on the other side of the machine I have the cable that goes to the head, has the all the wiring in it. Here are for the limits. For the X limit, I used a push button switch. And I used the same thing. Let's move this out of the way. The same thing back there for the Y. The Z has a, a little micro switch here. And the probe wiring is actually wired to the bearings. So it makes continuity between uh, the head. And I'll have a, a negative on the PCB workspace to complete the uh, circuit. So this is it, much bigger. I think the cutting area on this is about uh, 260 by 160, I think, millimeters. I did make a test PCB. I broke my ankle the other day, so I'm not very mobile. I did make a test PCB. You can see here, it uh, cuts very nicely. I'm going at feed rates um, a lot faster than what the uh, ant was feeding at. Here, you'll notice that some of the holes are not in the right spots. I'm having an issue with um, fast travel when I have a uh, auto level bed matrix in place. I'm getting some stuttering and I think some missed steps here. So I, I don't know um, what's causing that. It seems to be some type of uh, firmware issue with applying the bed level. Um, I'll have to keep troubleshooting that. Maybe I'm just pushing it too fast for the travel speeds. And uh, there you can see I'm using 0 0.9 degree NEMA 17 stepper motors. And I'm using the same um, Z motor that they recommended in their build. Anyhow, that's it for now. I'll uh, be releasing all the files to open source um, as soon as I get them cleaned up.